there can be a lot of confusion in using the WordPress logo and name in general. People have been sent cease and desist letters, had to rename their businesses, and redesign their graphics and web presences because of either misuse or mishandling of the property. We don't want that to happen to you, so we're going to break it all down. The WordPress Foundation has set up the following three guidelines as their kind of signposts on the subject. Basically, to sum it up, they don't want people claiming to be WordPress who aren't, but they want people to freely use the trademark to promote the software and community. And in general, their guidelines are simple and easy to follow. Let's take a deeper look. Number one, capitalize the P in WordPress. Yeah, despite what you might think, that P being capitalized matters because the name is a trademark which requires that you capitalize it accordingly. While that might not seem like much in the end, it's the difference in getting the name right and the name wrong. Would you take a company that contracted with Microsoft seriously if they spelled it Macrosoft across their entire website? Of course not. Number two, don't use WordPress in your name or URL. Even if it's capitalized correctly, you cannot have the term WordPress anywhere in your product, company name, or domain. Why? Well, because it's a registered trademark. That would be like calling your new burger restaurant just like McDonald's. You just can't do it. That's why you see so many businesses that simply use WP in their titles. WP Beginner, WPMU Dev, WP Super Cash, and so on. These products are branded WP so that users know they're for the WordPress software, but they can't outright say WordPress in their commercial titles. That would be trademark infringement. The same goes for URLs. Google is smart and recognizes that WP stands for WordPress. You can have the best WPthemesever.com, but not the best WordPress themes ever.com. A sly hack to almost circumvent this particular issue is by simply using the term press in your product title or domain. You can be buddy press, but not WordPress buddy. A consulting company can describe its business as one, two, three web services offering WordPress consulting for small businesses, but cannot call its business the WordPress consulting company. Similarly, a business related to WordPress themes can describe itself as XYZ themes, the world's best WordPress themes, but cannot call itself the WordPress theme portal. And finally, number three, use correct images. The WordPress Foundation's trademark applies not only to the term WordPress, but also to the official related logos. Like most major businesses and brands, WordPress.org has a media page and press kit with resources for you to use and guidelines for you to follow. Someone circulated a counterfeit WordPress logo around the internet years ago, and it was a bad knockoff. The best way to avoid this kind of issue is to only download official logos from official sites. And there you go. That's pretty much the general gist of how to properly use the WordPress name and logo in the future. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.